Many questions still surround the effect of COVID-19 on children and how they might spread the virus. With schools set to reopen in the fall, many parents must decide whether to send their kids back into the classroom. KRCG 13's Ashley Eddy sat down with an MU Healthcare infectious disease specialist to discuss her advice to parents. When we look at the rate of COVID-19 in children in general versus the benefit of school, I would say that for the interest of the child, it would completely make sense for us to try and get them back to physical learning. Christelle Elbudo, a pediatric infectious disease physician at MU Healthcare, says children aren't in much COVID-19 related data. That's because many times that age range does not have symptoms when they get infected. She says the lack of data could be because of schools closing in the spring, but what other countries are doing can be observed. Countries that never close schools like Sweden, it really hasn't changed the rates that they saw. Countries that reopened schools like, you know, Israel and, and, and other places in Australia and, and New England and, and I mean the UK, they really didn't see a big surge related to schools opening. When it comes to parents making the difficult decision whether to send their child back to school, El Budo says that choice is a personal one. Look at how healthy is the child, who is at home taking care of them. Are they going to go home to a parent that is more susceptible? She says the mental health of students should be considered an important factor in the decision making process for parents, noting the social benefits of in person classes and learning. We know children benefit so much from being in school, the behavioral aspect that they get, the social aspect that they get, the, the, the the, um, uh, the nutrition that some kids get. Obudo says if a child is staying at home instead of going to school and is around different people every day, it actually may not be a better environment. If, you know, my child is with uh, an aunt one day and then a cousin the next day and then a grandparent the next day, that increases the risk in my mind than being in a small, stable group of 10 children every day with the same teacher that we know. It's an involving topic and so um, everything I said today could be the complete reverse tomorrow which hopefully we're not going to have because I think we know enough now about the virus. But I think as far as schools, um, we have to take each situation in account. And, and unfortunately, it will have to be each community or each school district based on what they see locally. That was Ashley Eddy reporting. Dr. Ilbudos' parents should work with school staff to evaluate whether young children should wear masks. Their behavior will determine whether they'll be able to keep a mask on properly for extended periods of time.